you started training MMA, is that how long it took before you That's how long it should take. Yeah. All these fighters that fight, you know, uh, take eight weeks in between. But I did five fights within seven months, eight months, something mm. like that. So it was training, 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 yeah. training. And it gets, you know, injuries. And, right. You know, I had two distal bicep tears, and then that kind of messes your mind up a little yeah. bit, you know? Because I'm like, what? I don't break <laughs> muscles. <laughs> no! Kind of a joke question. You wanna you wanna roll sometime? Do some oh. Yeah, man, we can roll. I got my car out front. We'll do some like you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we can sometime. Man. Let's do it. Okay, buddy. Thanks, man. No problem. Hey, as long as you roll and don't make eye contact with me, it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's not gay if you don't make eye contact. Okay. Hello. Hello. Um, I have a question. Since you said you started karate at four, four yes. cars. How did you start it? Good question. No one's asked that question before. I was four years old and I was walking by a window at a school called Red Dragon Karate. The same school, keep in mind, that I bought that when I trained it. When I was 17, I bought that business and uh, traded my comic book collection. Oh man, it was terrible. I like comics. And, uh, but I sacrificed, you know, to, to, to gamble and stuff like that. But I was walking by and I saw this older lady. At that time, she was old, but she's probably younger than me now. And I was like, oh, and she was doing this kata, and I just got involved in it and stuck with it. And, you know, even though when I could beat up, my mom was like, oh, poor baby. My dad's like, it's good for him. <laughs> and uh, one time I put my teeth through my lips and uh, I didn't get stitches. So I came home and I was like, you know, trying to hide it from my mom. I'm in there. Oh my gosh, what's happening? You know? <laughs> You know, my dad would be like, suck it up, kid. <laughs> so I just stuck with it, but that's what inspired me. Uh, can I ask you another question? One more? Sure. If you could have any wish in the world, what would it be? Um, any wish in the world? Uh, I would just, you know, I know this sounds stupid, but I'll just say world peace, because I would just think that, you know, the, everything would be better, our economy, the, 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 everybody would just, you know, the, the Rodney King, can we all just get it on? Thing? You know what I mean? I just think it'll make it easier and less pressure for everybody. Because that's what, you know, pressure creates diamonds, but pressure can also crack things. Mm. You know what I mean? So that'd be my wish. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Um, hi. hi. One of my friends couldn't make it. <laughs> <laughs> Put him in that microphone. Put him in that microphone. He can hear me. I got a long line Great. of questions. Great. Put him in the microphone. Oh. Shove his face in the microphone. <laughs> Shove the mic to the mic. Oh, great. <laughs> Hello? How are you doing? Hey, where, how, come you didn't, how come you didn't come here? Uh, just busy. Oh, I'm busy too, dude. <laughs> <laughs> You're huh? a cute acorn going here. Well, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. No problem, buddy. See you, man. Woo! Thank you. Just wanted to say one thing. I grew up with a crush on you, and I'm proud to admit it. Oh! Oh! Uh oh! Me too. Me too. Me too. Um, Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I just wanted to say that I'm a huge fan of your show. Me too. I stopped watching it. <laughs> And I started watching it again with Dino Thunder, and I wanted to know what it felt like to go from the student role in the first four seasons to the teacher role in Dino Thunder season. Do you know what it felt like? I know I relate this a lot. Do you know who Snoop Dogg is? <laughs> right? They're like the OG rapper, you know, but like young rappers rap with them. And, and you know, Snoop Dogg, it was just like, oh, Tommy Oliver, J Jason Frank is, we're gonna film, and these guys were young, so they watched the show. So as an actor, that was kind of weird coming to the set and being a legendary ranger. I may be old, but I can still pull it off, stupid line. You know? <laughs> but, but yeah, it was, it was different coming back, and I, I actually liked it. I mean, you know, it was, it was cool. I mean, I didn't, you know, I tell people that someone on the plane the other day is like, do we have a doctor for real? I was going to go up and like work and be like, well, I'm not a doctor, but I do play one on TV. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Oliver, but uh, yeah, it was, it was cool. 
Also, just one more thing. Can you do the Eagle Ranger laugh? Oh. 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 Yes! Yes! <laughs> 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 yep, that was it. Thank you. Thank you. Hi. Hi. Um, all right. um, so a lot of people already know that Power Rangers is based off Super Sentai, the Japanese show. Yep. So I was just wondering if you've watched any seasons of it, um, or if you've seen any seasons that they use to make Power Rangers. And if so, how do you feel your character compares to some of like, the original Sentai characters? Well, that's a good question. Uh, the Green Ranger that, that was in Japan, was it one that was in that costume or one particular actor or... Because I saw like a morpher on uh, eBay for like $1,700 and it wasn't signed, it was just the original uh, Green Ranger one or... Yeah! You know, That's a lot of money. How come? How come? Yeah, they didn't, uh, a lot of the Japanese stuff they don't release here and it's a lot better quality usually. So, oh yeah? And, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> um, so what was your question? I forgot, dude. <laughs> wow. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, watch. Um, when we first started the show, we were kind of like, you know, it was professional Hollywood. You know, we'd have table reads. We would uh, research things. We would watch the episodes. Very frustrating to watch the episodes because they had a little bit more violence than we had, and we wanted that, you know? So I think Savon was like, we're like, oh, yeah. Dude, how come we can't do that? Savon was like, all right, let's just keep this smile when you fight. <laughs> <laughs> I'm up there. Uh, hey, do you know like in UFC fights though, you know when they're looking, right? They are looking at the screens when they're hitting the guy behind them. I told somebody that they have screens everywhere just like this. So when they're fighting and they get into, uh, you know, like someone take their back, they look at the screen and ah, uh, uh, they hit them. It's true because the screens are everywhere. But, uh, but we used to research a lot and it just became cool. So they, you know, wanted to make it a little uncool, still cool, but they cut out all the violent parts. You know, I don't know, they can kick in the head and stuff in Japan on the oh, yeah. seasons a little. That sucks. <laughs> <laughs> I like kicking in the head, you know, and I like kicking people, not just monsters, you know. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we used to research a little bit, then we just, it, it became, the table reads became just like this. Literally five minutes, it was mandatory. We'd go, okay, battle, 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 you know, fight, fight, fight. Okay, we're in the Angel Grove, in the juice bar, Ernie, Ernie, okay. Fight, 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 grow, grow, grow. Battle, 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 Power Rangers win. Yeah, you know, that's how the table reads. Okay. Um, you know, uh, until, you know, Amy was like, hey, you wanna practice that love scene? No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. Ah! Can you practice that kiss again? Oh, the uh, funniest prank I thought was funny is when uh, we're doing, I don't think, the, the Christmas season or something like that, and so we're rolling the cameras. You all pretty heard, heard this already, but rolling the cameras, and uh, she's like, oh, Tommy, uh, mistletoe. And she's like, so I just dropped my pants. I had underwear on. Like, oh, yeah, right, a mistletoe. So I dropped my pants and I just stood there with my underwear on. And the director and producer's like, <laughs> and cut. And I was like, and I couldn't show that. I thought that was funny. I knew, because I was so in character. I was like, oh, yeah, sure, can only drop my pants on. And it was like one of those things where they're like, I'd be honored to fight him, just like people that, you know, challenged me to fight, said, I'll be honored to fight you, I never understood that. I was like, what? You know, you want to punch your childhood superhero? <laughs> yeah, I'll you know, beat the Green Ranger. What? Me, and, and um, you know, he probably outweighs me now, probably about 100 pounds, and, you know, get stuck underneath him, and you know, be smushed, get pushed against the cage, and then my body will come out of the cage like, like cheese, you know, like grated cheese. Oh! But, um, but yeah. Be cool. Right, thank, you very much. thank you, buddy. Hi. Um, just to follow up this question, next season of Power Rangers here in America is going to be called Mega Force, and Mega Force is going to be a combination of two seasons from the Japanese series. Uh, on those seasons, they celebrate the 35 years of the Japanese Power Rangers, and they're going to translate that here to the 20th years. 
And on that translation, we're going to have the new team be able to transform into all Power Rangers. And they have said that they want to bring uh, some of the old cast back just so that they can teach the new team mm -hmm. about their powers. Would you be excited to come back to Super Mega Force? I don't know. I'm just not excited someone playing my character, though. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but, uh, I mean, you know, I, I've talked to Saban before. This ain't a new question, you know what I mean? Saban knows my character is really popular and stuff like that, and it's his business decision that if he's going to decide, but we talk for like an hour, and, you know, we'll see what happens. No guarantee. Uh, you guys were lighting up Saban's circuit board, you know, and they said that I can't call because, you know, the fans are calling and lighting up their circuit board, and, you know, they said that we know, you know, Jason's character is very, very popular, and, you know, we'll see what happens, but, uh, you know, no rumors or anything like that, you know, so... It's up to them, really, and it's up to you guys. I mean, you guys are the fans. I don't see why they wouldn't call me back, to be honest with you. I mean, they were talking to me already, so we'll see what happens. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. I still don't like someone transforming into me. That's like weird. That kind of suck. Now I know how Adam West feels, Batman. No one messes with Adam hey, Wee. What's up, buddy? Man. Thank you, man. <laughs> Sorry, kind of got a geek moment here. But anyway, so, you know, you know, MMA and all that. And I watched some of your videos, you know, like everybody's in the background, like, Green Raider, yeah, yeah, you know. Like, ever once in your entire career, even now, have you ever got tired of, like, you know, Power Ranger reference? Like, even when you try to move on from that? No, uh, you know, you have to understand there's, like, a whole other side to the you know, what you're asking. There's a whole other side to the autograph of signing and, you know, the promotions and, you know, fans and trying to make them happy. I've always, I'm like the yes man. Yes, yes, yes. I never say no. And, um, you know, but like when my brother, my brother passed away, but when he was dying and almost dying in the hospital, my, my best friend lost his arm. He's a karate teacher. And, you know, the doctor, I was a wreck. You know, the doctor came out and said, hey, can, can I talk to you real quick? And I was like, yeah, you know, what is it? He's like, well, I know it's a bad time, but can you sign these for my kids and stuff? And I was like, yeah, I, I, I'm not gonna lie, man. I was kind of tearing up because my brother, because I loved him, you know, all my heart. And I, I was signing and I remember a teardrop kind of dropped on that paper. And I remember the, the smear of that ink on it. And when I walked by, a girl said, well, can I have an autograph? And she didn't even know anything about the show. She was just kind of doing it because everyone else was doing it. And then we'd visit cancer patients, kids, you know, at the hospital uh, with our helmets off, full gear. And we'd go up to a little kid and be like, hey, buddy, how you doing? And, and he's like, you know, Tommy, I'm doing good, but I'm dying, you know? And I was like, no, 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 man, you're not, you're not dying at all. And the, the nurse would be like, yeah, and we were just a wreck, you know what I'm saying? Like, well, she didn't say yeah in front of him. The kid had cancer. He only had a certain amount of time to live. So we were like a wreck at the hospital, and then, you know, you got 10 people at Make-A-Wish Foundation. Someone's here at make that uh, Make-A-Wish Foundation, but I saw him when he was 11. He's not in here right now. But he came and told me I saw him a long time ago, or, you know, you got 10 kids asking one thing before they die to see you. It puts, it puts a lot of, uh, on you, you know? And uh, the unfortunate thing, what happened with the Batman premiere and all that stuff was terrible. And a lot of people wanted, you know, Christian show up or Bale to show up at the, you know, hospital, and I was worried for him that he was gone, or when I was working, I couldn't leave. Saban said, no, you're filming. So I couldn't make needs. So you kind of build this wall up, where there's a different side to the uh, autograph session. And then when I was fighting my first fight, it was constantly, I was walking out, and I'm like, you know, getting pumped up, and trying to be focused, but it was like, Tommy, you didn't sign this, and then sign that, and then I was like, can I just get through my fight real quick, please? Well, I got this, and so I was signing, and my head just wasn't in there. You know what I'm saying? And until my coach said, don't look at nobody, don't talk to nobody, walk to the cage. And of course me, I'm like, you know, hey man, what's going on? Hey, you know? So I'd like to be focused without being rude. I don't want nobody to say they ever met me. And you know, you, because I'm a hero in your eyes, it wouldn't be good to see, meet your hero and just think what an idiot or a jerk he is, you know? And that's the problem I have with Van Damme. That's why I was on TMZ and all that stuff. I looked up to him and people were like, that's sad you looked up to Van Damme. I don't care, I used to watch his movies. But when I met him, he was uh, you know, kind of arrogant at my premiere and it just got inside of me. So I left my own premiere because I just didn't want to be around him and other people. And then you know, then I called him out again on you know, YouTube, everywhere else. So Van Damme, you're not answering me. It'd be great to fight you because he wants to fight. I thought it'd be a really cool fight between me and him. And I'd uh, love that. But you know, of course, nothing's been said for a year and a half. So I kind of let it go. So it's the different side that you're asking. Do I ever get tired of it? 
Just think if you're in the horriblest, worst mood of your life. You just, I don't care, you broke up your wife, your girlfriend, but your mom, dad, you're just in the worst possible mood. Sometimes it snaps you out of that mood. Hey, Jason, yeah. Are you, uh, yeah, I like you as a fan. Oh, oh, thanks. And it sometimes snaps you out of that mood. So it helps you, but sometimes it also, you know, um, it's just what it is. I'm used to that, though, and I'm happy, and I embrace it, and I reach out to all my fans, and I want to make everybody happy, but there's a time where, you know, you do the same thing for yourself. So I decided, you know, having fans, if you're happy, I'm happy type of thing. As you can see, like, I, I joke a lot, I have fun, but that's not just for you guys, it's for me. You know what I'm saying? To keep me refreshed and excited, and that's why I joke around. If I was just so bored and saying the same thing, it, it would get tiresome, but I always try to change it with the refreshing answer. You know what I'm saying? Cool. Some things are the same. Okay. Anyway, thank you. <laughs> What's up, buddy? Hey, um, uh, my name is Jason. I uh, just wanted to ask you, um, besides any of the seasons that you've been in, are there any other seasons of Power Rangers that you really like? Uh, to be honest with you, man, um, I didn't watch any of my little girl's not allowed to watch any of the other seasons. I, you know, she's like, Power Rangers. I'm like, baby, that's not Power Rangers. <laughs> she's like, yeah, it is. You're on Nickelodeon. I'm like, baby, that's not me. That's not me. Let me play some Zeo or something for you, okay? <laughs> so I just never got a chance, you know, because um, when you're in it, when you're in the game, you're kind of in the game and you're not paying attention to what's going on the outside. When I'm in the MMA world, I'm in the MMA world. I don't, you know, I'm not, I don't really pay attention to what's going on the inside. So because I was inside of Power Rangers, working all the time, making stuff, sometimes I watch it now and I'm like, what? <laughs> like the, you know, oh, like operating <laughs> Things like that, you know? So um, I don't really, uh, have an answer like I mean Dan Southworth he's he's cool you know so I guess I like his season <laughs> <laughs> sorry I don't have a better answer <laughs> I could lie Go ahead. Oh, uh, space I don't even know the names I like <laughs> <laughs> hey,